do things like embed the carbon nanotubes to make conductive uh, structure so that information doesn't flow through a wire next to a structure but literally flows through the structure. We'll be able to grow or make a structure that say is the skin of an aircraft that inside of that is also contained the sensors or the energy storage or many different multiple functions. New materials that are on the uh, lab bench right now, they can literally change shape on command. They can become almost a muscular material. We could have an airplane that optimizes its shape for the different flight conditions it's in. There's definitely a lot of amazing technology that's going on. The, the Lockheed Samurai, based on a small maple seed-like looking device. The fact that we can package enough energy for something like that to fly and still carry a sensor, a camera, uh, enough control capability for it to fly is amazing to me. As we go forward, we're gonna find new ways of using these unmanned vehicles. They'll probably be autonomous, so they'll be like UAVs, but carry cargo around where there are currently no infrastructure in place. We may have small swarms of small vehicles interacting with a larger vehicle that, that basically uh, combines the information from that swarm. So maybe one vehicle flies a small distance and another vehicle learns from it and knows which way to fly. Probably what makes sense is a heterogeneous swarm. One where not every element of the swarm is the same. Some elements of the swarm carrying sensors, some carrying other types of electronics. So it's an adaptable system that can adapt to a changing environment and a changing future that is difficult for us to predict. The true value of research is not in the answer you get that you knew you were looking for, but the answer that you find that you didn't know to look for.